Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lowrance product expert. Today we're out here on the water. We're gonna walk you through using the Lowrance Structure Scan 3D with the new HDS Live units. Don't forget if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for the Lowrance YouTube channel so you can get more technical videos like this. May be wondering what is structure scan 3d well it's a scanning sonar technology that we developed that gives you unbelievable range i mean we're talking 600 feet to each side of the boat so if you're looking out that far to each side of the boat that gives you a total coverage of 1200 feet of water left and right that you're looking at not only that but it has amazing resolution and clarity so the way we've set up our bars in it and the way the crystals work it just gives you this unbelievable picture and then not only that is it gives you the ability to turn it into 3d mode which basically lays everything that it's all the data that it's gathering it lays it basically on a 3d palette kind of like on the 3d game some of you guys have played in the past on computers and stuff and it gives you that a 3d look of what's going on under your boat in the water as here we are we're looking at structure scan 3d you can see whenever you've got the module up, it says S3D on the top of your screen so that, know, that you know you're using your source of your structure scan 3D module. The range right now is set on 120 feet, but we could like kick it all the way out to 600 feet. Again, it's gonna fill up a lot of screen. It'll t it, the thing is, is the further you range it out, the longer it takes those pings to get back. So sometimes that will affect your scroll speed. So again, I always like to use it just in whatever range that's best for what I'm trying to do. So we're in a 120 foot range here. You can see the clarity that we're getting out there. We get really great clarity on this. And again, we talk about color palettes and stuff. People always ask what's the best color palette to use. It's gonna be a personal preference on that. So we go into the palette, like here's what it looks like with the number two palette. Um, again, it's a really great daylight viewable palette. And for most people, that's what they need to figure out. Which one looks best for them in the daylight? Because what looks good to my eyes in the daylight may not look good to your eyes in the daylight. So a lot of times I just really like this number one palette, so I use it most of the time. And we'll talk about the contrast. So contrast, think of that as energy or power that you're putting into the water. So the more energy you put in the water, so if we turn it up, you can see it really quickly and easily blows out. And if you turn it down, it gets a little bit darker. And for some people, it's a little bit easier to see. Now, usually when I'm using it, especially in the range we're in, we're in 28 feet of water. So I usually, I still leave it in auto, but I just back it down a little bit so it's not putting quite as much power into the water. The other thing with the Structure Scan 3D module is you also have the downscan imaging. So as you can see here, we're using Fish Reveal. Now, some people may ask, what's this line on the bottom here? Well, with my Fish Reveal, my 2D transducer and my Structure Scan 3D transducer, they're sitting a little bit differently in height. So that's why I, sometimes I'll get this line along the bottom because my 2D transducer is reading this as the bottom and my Structure Scan 3D transducer is reading it just a little bit deeper because it sits up a little bit higher. But again, we're using Fish Reveal here. The contrast works the same with the down scan as it does with the side scan. And then you can turn your, you can change your sensitivity on your fish reveal options. Changing your sensitivity obviously puts more power in the water and things like that. The other thing you can do is you can go to more options and here's where you can turn fish reveal off if you decide you don't want to use it. So now the one thing that the Structure Scan 3D transducer can do